this will be our third video about index and match and we'll primarily talk about the third type. So when we think about match function, match function has the third argument. So we have the search value, range and search type. So there are three types for this you can use. So zero so far we did is exact match, right? So if you haven't watched those videos, for zero and one options, please go and watch those and then come back to this one. It will make a lot more sense. We have one, which what we call usually approximate match or what people will call also greater than option. And then finally, there is negative one type, which is less than option. So zero exact match is pretty straightforward. So if we're looking for a particular text or number, we can search for that in a row or a column. And we can find that if we're looking for this non-smoking text here in this range, we're gonna find it's the second item in this range. So that's exact match. Greater than is when we have a list sorted in ascending order. And we basically go from top and once we hit a number that's greater than, we go back. So at least you can think about it that way to make it easy to understand. So if this is sorted in ascending order, so let's say we're looking for 39, so we're gonna keep going from the top until we hit a higher number, 47, and then we're gonna go back, and that's the one we're gonna select. So as a result, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Number five is the index. So again, very commonly used type. And then finally, there is less than option, which is not that commonly used. And I'll show you what that does. So less than assumes that your column, first of all, wherever you're searching is sorted in descending order. So let's go to this tab to see an example of that. So here we have different containers, different sizes of containers, and then we have different types of containers here on top we need to find the smallest container possible to fit the amount of liquid we have. So in this particular case, or whatever this is, amount of product, you can call this. So we have 38 pounds of this, and we need to find what's the smallest paper container and how much is gonna be the price for it. So the smallest container to fit this 38 pounds would be well, uh, 36 is not gonna fit 38 pounds, so it's gonna be 47. And then we need the paper type, so it's $21. So we're gonna have to find this is $21. That's kind of what we're gonna do here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type some things here, row and column. So let's start with our match function to get the row. So I'm gonna do equals match. And search key is gonna be this 38 number the amount we need to fit. Now we select this range of numbers. And again, this range needs to be sorted in descending order, highest number on top, smallest number all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 to lock that range for good practice, comma, and the type, this is the case when we do negative one. So we get negative one, hit enter, and it says two. So it went one, two, and see 36 is too small, so that's the second row. So it's gonna select the second row. Now if this number is, let's say 47, it's still gonna select the second row because 47 pound container is enough for us to fit what we need. But if we go 48, that's no longer enough, so this jump to one. Now if we go 64, it's still gonna be the first number, 65, it's still gonna be that, but if we go 66, a little higher, 65 is not enough to fit 66 container, and since we don't have anything more in this table, we get NA as a result. Now, on the other end of this table, if let's say we have like a five pound product here, five pounds is going to fit in this seven size container. So that would be returning seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now, if we do like a zero or really any lower number, that container should be enough. So again, negative three probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but technically it will fit. Going back to our lookup, so I'm going to go ahead and type some number. Let's say the number we have is 45, 
and now we are going to find it's the second item one two that's what we need now to find the column we need to use this so is it paper plastic or stainless steel so if we go plastic this is going to be an exact type match right match we're going to search for this value in this column labels f4 and this is an exact match so that's the type zero so it's going to say it's the second column one two second column is the plastic now if i go stainless steel three if i switch to paper one so and so on stainless steel that's fine so now we need to get the price so to get the price we're going to incorporate these two match functions in our index function now we have to be careful and the range we select needs to match this two functions so column wise we selected this match function so we selected cde columns and row wise when we go here we selected from two to eight those are the rows selected here so when we do our index function equals index we need to select as a reference that same type of range so i went with this three columns and rows from two to eight the same thing so i'm going to lock that comma then it's going to ask me what's the row number so the row number i'm going to enter right now is 22 comma and then again column number 22 i'm going to replace those obviously close so just placeholders those 22s hit enter error because there's no 22nd row and there's no 22nd column in this there are only three columns and about like seven rows so now i'm going to go in this copy this match function not including the equal sign go back to this and instead of the first 22 i'm going to delete that and paste my match function there hit enter go back and do the same for column i'm going to copy this match function escape go back and replace this 22 with my second match function as a column number hit enter and i'm getting a 59 now i don't need this so now we're finding that if we have 45 pounds of product and we need a stainless steel container we have to pay 59 dollars now if we switch this to a paper 21 which is this now if we switch this to a different number let's say it's a 25 so 25 we're gonna have to do this 26 to 22 range this one and if we look at paper container that's 14 dollars now if we switch this to plastic that should be 20 dollars and it is now if we switch this to like four pounds that should be the last row it's nine perfect works and if it's let's say 21 pounds then it should just select the 21 number and because this is a plastic it's gonna select 18 and finally if we have something that doesn't fit so 80 pounds it's an NA because it doesn't fit in any of those and that should cover this video thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one